We are back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. You know, when we talk about anniversaries, we tend to celebrate sometimes even the first anniversary, the fifth anniversary, the tenth anniversary. But when you start talking about 50 years, now that's an anniversary to be celebrated. And that's exactly what's happening because O's and M turns 50 this year. Here to talk about not only the 50th, but what's happened up until now to individuals, to perspectives. I was, I was gonna say Darrell Porter and Dr. Karen Hall. I mean, if you say O's and M in 2018, that's who you think of, you two. Wow, well, thank you. Yeah, wow. yeah. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank Good you. to be here. And uh, I mean, I'm not exaggerating when I say that 50 years is a huge celebration. Mm. Yeah. It's a big time thing. And in 50 years, can you even begin to count the number of kids in particular that have been touched by Ozanam? Well, we can't begin to count. However, we know is thousands of people who have been uh, touched by the program that ozanam has been providing for years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Karen, let's talk a little bit about how it's evolved, because I think in the early days, people automatically thought about the Ozanam strings. Yes. Um, there was always a sports component, but I think the, the strings just kind of got the spotlight. Yes. Well, you know, Mr. Carl Coleman, mm -hmm. who is the founder and first and only executive director until Durrell mm -hmm. and Curtis Curitan, he thought that he needed to bridge the gap mm. between the diversity, which back in the 70s and 80s, it wasn't as hot as it is today, the whole diversity and inclusion. Oh yeah, that diversity wasn't even right. in our vocabulary no. then. Yeah. So with the sport of basketball and the educational component, he was able to bring together communities from throughout western Pennsylvania and beyond mm -hmm. to the Hill District. Mm -hmm. And from there, for Darrell and I, we're beneficiaries of O's and M, but as youth, our world of exposure, getting to know other kids from different areas, getting to know other players and just people for a, a mode of education outside the classroom, mm -hmm. that is how O's and M is how it was during our era, mm -hmm. and how we bring it today okay. to Ozanel. So Darrell, talk to me about how does your experience as a participant in mm -hmm. Ozanel affect how you fulfill the role of executive director? Well, I can tell you that I try to give the kids my experience that I had. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can duplicate that, but right now, we're getting them exposed to college visits. We're getting them exposed to STEM and STEAM programs. We're getting them exposed to as much as we can to give them outlets where they can be successful. So what's the challenge today? I mean, like when we even look back into, you know, the 70s, the 80s, uh, extracurricular programs like OZNAM, we all did them. Yes. You know, that's what was expected and that's what your mom made sure you did. Sure. Now in 2018, is it more of a challenge? Because sometimes, you know, through peer pe pressure, kids don't feel like this is cool and, you know, playing basketball might be cool, right. but STEM may not be. Well, we try to make it fun for them. Mm -hmm. uh, at a young age, they get used to coming uh, to the program, doing their homework, get something to eat, then they get to play. Okay. So the way it's structured, it kind of forces them to do what they need to do before they can uh, do the athletics. So it works out for us. Okay. Well, in, in addition, that? I think some of the challenges would be parental um, guidance, involvement, involvement mm -hmm. and being able to allow their children to come to a place like Ozanam. But at Ozone, we're a safe haven mm -hmm. because we have so much going on. You don't have time to just be still because we have the children moving. We have the kids actively engaged. But I think parental involvement would be a huge challenge. Well, and you know, that's interesting because in the last segment, we were talking with Anthony Johnson about the Hill District Education yes. Council. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about the same challenge, getting parental involvement. But the realities are, whether we're talking in extracurricular mm -hmm. or academics, if parents aren't involved, you're not gonna have the same outcome for your child. I can say one thing for sure. So Darrell, he does a great job in connecting with mm -hmm. the people everywhere anyways, right? Mm -hmm. So when it comes to our parental involvement for OZNIM, we haven't had that big of a challenge. Okay. Because right. we've been able to engage the parents and establish relationships mm -hmm. with the parents. 
Well, I was going to say the name Darrell Porter also sure. is kind of a draw. Sure, you know. sure. Well, I think that we get them so young. Mm -hmm. Now, what start, age is this? They start at five years old. Oh, okay. So we have them when they don't have a key. Mm -hmm. They can't uh, go straight home. Uh -huh. And then they get into that uh, environment and structure, and then it carries over. Oh, interesting. Okay, and we'll, after the commercial break, we'll come back, and I promise you, we're going to talk about this 50th <laughs> celebration. But kind of talk me through it. So the kids can come every day after school? They talk me through the program. They come every day after school. Uh -huh. From uh, 4 to 5, we have homework help. We have tutors from Duquesne, uh, Point Park, Pitt, and they help them with their homework. Mm -hmm. And after that, they go eat a meal. After the meal, they get to the gym. So the... Uh, health and wellness activities don't start until after you finish your homework. After you've eat. done the work. Mm -hmm. And this is five days a week? Five days a week. Ages five to what? It's five to 18, but usually after 12 or 13, uh, the kids it's, don't come as much. Okay. I think that when they're younger, they don't have a choice. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And Karen, what's the cost for all of this? Come, come in and enjoy yourselves. We don't charge. I think that is one of the major differences mm -hmm. with O's now, then, and even more so now. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the beauties of what we can offer to the participants that come to O's now. There's no charge. Now, no. are there eligibility requirements? Do you have to live in a certain area? Do you have, is there anything, or you can just come? You can just come, yeah. as long as you yeah. live in Allegheny yeah. County. Right. And then we serve all the kids, and. Uh, Normally, by word of mouth, mm -hmm. it fills up. We're mm -hmm. always uh, sold out. Okay. So we All don't right. do too much recruiting now. No. Okay. Well, that's perfect. Okay. So now, though, the recruitment is to get folks there for the 50th anniversary. We definitely want to get people there for the 50th anniversary. And we're going to talk about that next when the Lynn Hayes Freeman Show continues. So don't go away. We will be right back.